Hi, in today's tutorial, I'm going to show you how to know if someone is online on the Skype application. So, first of all, of course, all you need to do, just go and open the Skype application if you already have it on your PC downloaded before. Of course, if you don't, all you need to do, just go and open whatever browser you are currently using in your PC. Once you do that, go to the URL section and type download Skype application and hit the intro button. And of course, go to the first link and start downloading the Skype application. Those steps of downloading will be pretty simple and easy because you must have been downloaded something on your PC before and it will be the same with Skype. So once you did that, once it downloaded, install it and open it. And then they will ask you to log in into your account. Of course, if you have an account, just go and log in into it. But if you don't, you will need to go and create one. And once you did one of those options, you'll find yourself here with the home page with a welcome back sentence with your name or your username. And as we said in the beginning of the video, you would like to know if someone is online or not. So of course, on the Skype application, as you can see, at the top left corner here, we have a green circle at the bottom right uh, corner of our profile picture. So as you can see, that means it's active. That shows if some of your contacts is active or not so i can just you can just go here to your contacts and as you can see this is not a contact this this all the skype users has this but as you can see we'll have this green circle green that means this is online and of course of course that will go with any other contacts and maybe some people will tell me that of course people can make it invisible like this and they are online course you have another option you can just go as an example and go and send a message to your contact and if he read the message that means he's he's offline he's online sorry but that might not work if they are removing the read receipts option so this will be actually for this tutorial i hope you like it thank you guys for watching and goodbye